All right, I'm Nick. Today we have the autopilot. Uh, this is a 136. Tim is nice enough to let us borrow this from time to time, really so I can just make parts and do whatever and spend some time around it. We originally made seat risers for these several months ago, probably eight months ago, right? And it was a request and this is a simple solution. These are the new ones. We'll talk about those in a second. The old ones, they are designed just to go here or here and then the kayak just came down and rested on them like so. They double sided taped in place. We shipped them all over the country, all over the world. We only had a handful of people ever have problems with losing them or the tape not working well. But from the very beginning, that's supposed to be a temporary solution. This is a temporary solution that seemed to work without much issue. And if I had to replace the set, that's not really a big deal, but I wanted to make it better, right? So I told Tim, I wanted to borrow the kayak to make risers and a dashboard. We finished making the risers. It's very simple, okay? And these are gonna work on any kayak that uses this seat. That's the Topwater paddle version or the Sportsman paddle version, the MK, the AP. If it uses the seat that looks like this, it's gonna work, okay? All this is a bottom piece. For instance, this one's two inches and that's from the, the, the bottom, right? It's two inches from here. This goes on top like so had to say it like so like so okay just like that nothing to it and then once they're on there they go down they spin around right you'll have them in place you can take this you can tighten down your strap after you install your battery tighten that up it's not going to go anywhere i'll show a clip here in a minute of me sitting in it and wiggling all over the place it's going to slide right but your weight's on there doesn't really matter okay all the seats move that's the front end moving okay not a big deal, works wonderful. I just wiggled all over the place in the garage to see if we could get it, have any problems or break them, didn't. Very simple removal and installation. They are loose on purpose. So they swivel back and forth like this on purpose. That way when you pick the seat up, there's no big deal. Another thing is if you get into rough water, If you get in the rough water, you can just do this, push these backwards and slam the seat down. And now you are in the low position. Okay. That way you never run into any issues. Strap that, get that up there where you want it. Boom. This way during transport, I know you guys get to pull these up pull the battery out and then there's always a fear of losing these little blocks that go right here not anymore irrelevant comes in place like that i would get up there but the kayak's not strapped down and i'd probably fall so we'll move it so you guys can see me sitting in it and shimmying it around and that's it they're on the website if you have ordered these rises in the last two days or so you will get the new ones all right if you have the old ones they're available you don't need them, but going forward, it's a solid upgrade. It will serve you really, really well. That's that. Thanks for watching. Got any questions, just uh, leave a comment below or shoot me an email at nick at navarkayakfishing.com. People always worry about how strong they are, but I weigh 225 pounds and I am standing on them, okay? Uh, if you are sitting, Majority of your weight is in your legs. All the weight's not on there. You can get a fish, do whatever. The risers aren't gonna be an issue.